Well, it was a real paradigm changer for me because, um, as I say, um, in the in, in the practice of of counseling before I got involved with TIR, um, we were dealing mainly with the cognitive controls that people can exert over their own repertoire of personal, emotional, psychological distress. And, and to come across a model that would essentially undercut all of that and make it unnecessary to do, ultimately make it unnecessary to do that. Okay, really resolve a problem that even the, the client um, had thought was probably going to track them to their grave, right? Uh, it's just, uh, I, it's the kind of thing that I had not expected to come along in my lifetime. It brings a resolution to the problem, whether it's an anxiety or depression or whatever it is, um, not just a management skill. Okay, the things that my colleagues and I had been doing for the 20 years before that were basically teaching management skills. Nice stuff, but this stuff just puts it away. Yeah, TIR just puts it away, so it's no longer you no longer have anything else to manage. You know, it's great. It is designed to trace a particular personal mood, emotion, reaction, or whatever to its origin, to its experiential origin. And there aren't any other techniques um, in contemporary practice that do that. Well, psychoanalysis was intended to do that, okay? So for six sessions a week for 20 years, you could kind of try to sneak up <laughs> on it with, psych with classic psychoanalysis. But uh, that was just inefficient beyond words. And TIR just goes there, resolves it. Next case, please. Are, are there some specific types of issues that TIR deals with that can handle? Well, I can't think of very many that it doesn't, really. I think the, uh, the, the exclusionary list is going to be a whole lot more manageable than the list of things that it can handle. Uh, and that would be uh, people are not eligible for TIR who are in the middle of some major psychotic episode and major um, involvement with uh, psychotropic drugs or um, something of that sort. So there's a, there's a short list of things that would make one say, no, not quite ready for TAR, right? Um, but uh, if they're alert, undrugged, not mentally impaired, interested in their own case and wanting to do something about it, uh, it doesn't matter too terribly much what particular personal or emotional problem they're presenting. It's going to have its roots in their experience somewhere, and TIR is going to find it. So. Well, I've had uh, any number of, of uh, clients over the years uh, come back in the course of their service and say, you know, we didn't, have, we didn't actually talk about, you know, this event or that event or this abuse or that despair or this angst or that angst, but it's gone. <laughs> and they'll tell a story about how some work that we had been doing simply tore up and disposed of a problem that they had had uh, and hadn't even mentioned to mm. It has that, it has that fundamental sort of get to the bottom of it all. Uh, quality that sometimes just reaches out and cleans stuff up they don't they didn't even anticipate and that those stories are always wonderful too that to, is, to hear, that is you know. quite amazing when people come back and tell stories not only are they getting the, the benefit from the things you do address yeah they get some issues handled that weren't even addressed exactly yeah and that's so much fun that's so much fun hmm. to hear.